You heard it from the pro bowler himself. I'm Casey Shane. I'm Bender Ball, and welcome to the fifth episode of the Cryer Sports Wire. Chicago sports had a huge week. Obviously, the Cubs just lost game 163. Yeah, and how about those Bears? The Bears are back. Mitch Trubisky with the breakout game, six touchdowns. Now, how about Camden Sports? Under the pitch. Yeah, let's kick it into soccer, Ben. Soccer defeated Ottawa 3 0 in a 20 minute game that was shortened by rain. Then they went on to defeat East Aurora 4 3. Yeah, Tucker Johns is getting triple teamed out there, but still getting the job done. For All right, Ben, let's bounce it into these tennis scores. Yeah, with Piper Shreffman and Maddie Jurisak still out, uh, the girls' tennis team is stepping up and really playing some great tennis. They took second place at the Lady Hub invite in Rochelle this weekend. And then they also beat Hampshire by a score of 5-2, to two, but unfortunately fell to Sterling 3-2 in a close match. Yeah, these girls haven't done a lot of losing this year, so I'm sure this week they'll be right back to winning. Again. All those Athlete of the Week winners, how's volleyball doing? Volleyball went fox hunting. They defeated Yorkville 2-0. They went on to defeat Rochelle 2-0, and they're 15-4 and on the season. That's great. The golf team continues to impress us here at the Cryer Sports Wire. Tell us about it, Ben. Yeah, both the Fresh Soft and Varsity team took first place at conference. They shot new, two school new records of a 293 team score, and Will Marshall led the way with an impressive 9 under par 63. Ryan Milton and Bryce Starr followed closely with the 73 and 77, and they take on regionals today. Yeah, good luck to those guys. How did the cross country team run this weekend? Yeah, they had their pretzel invite where the top five placers in the race earn a pretzel, giant pretzel. Dan Acapinti and Austin Adams both finished in the top five for boys, and Rachel Rickman earned second place. All right, it's that time of the week. How did football play in Sycamore? Yeah, they defeated the Spartans in their homecoming game. They defeated them by a score of 28 to 7. Luke Brost had two touchdowns. Jonathan Alsot added another one. And this week they take on the Yorkville Foxes uh, at Yorkville on Friday. It's going to be a good game. Casey, where are you going? Shh, I'm going fox hunting. Alrighty, Ben, who is the Athlete of the Week this yes, week? Yes, the nominations were Luke Bros, Will Marshall, Rachel Rickman, and Alex Bass. And this week's winner is... Luke Bros, he had two touchdowns in the game against Sycamore, and he was all over the field against the Spartans. Good job, buddy. Thank you for watching the fifth episode of the Cryer Sports Wire. I'm Bender Bala. I'm Casey Shanks. It was a pleasure. A pleasure, man. It's always. What the heck was that? Oh my gosh, where did Mr. Bruno go?